doing it a little bit different today and okay let me first introduce myself before i go further i am sarah smile you can always call me a child of grace i'm the host for this show and we talk about relationship with god man and spouse you love it so to, the, to today's topic that i say we're going to be doing it differently if you've been watching my video from before now you'll understand why i say it's going to be different so i'll tag this reason with me on inspired smile reason with me on inspired smile we're going to be reading and we'll explain and if you have anything you uh, you like to add you'd like to argue your comments are highly welcomed kindly place your comments in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed since better subscribe now because subscribe hit the like button because i know you like me a lot if you don't like me that's only when you not hit that like button okay so we'll be reading chapter we'll be reading galatians chapter 2 and chapter 3 today and you reason with me about what i'll be talking about my idea about galatians chapter 2 and chapter 3 what I understand by the scriptures is reason with me on this part smile show. So we are reasoning scriptures together. That is basically what today's video is all about. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. And this is also created for people that find it hard to read Bible on a daily basis because they are too busy. And they are like, whenever they want to read Bible, they are just like, oh my God. It's not like novel, but they don't know that it's the sweetest thing to do, just to open your Bible and to read through and imagine. But we're going to make you imagine here because the way we'll be reading it, we'll read it and we'll interact. So don't forget to place your comments in the comment section below. Yeah, I have it here. Or should I just place it like this? Okay, it's cool. I'm going to be picking it from CEV version so that it's not going to be all long the video won't be all long it's just chapter two and chapter three and next in our next video on reason with me on inspired smile i'm going to do chapter one and chapter four i have my reason why i'm, I'm just starting from chapter two you get i want you to feel the highlight feel that hmm, this thing is going to be interesting and it's for us to cultivate the habit of reading. I'm going to be giving us assignments to read on Galatians chapter 1 and chapter 3 before I do this video again. So that you have idea. Holy Spirit is going to tell you things like, he's going to tell you his own meaning on that particular two scriptures. So that when I'm saying my own here, it's going to, you know, be the same thing. They're going to resemble each other. You get what I'm trying to say? You get me? Okay, let's move. Let's start. And... I'm certain. It says, verse 1, 14 years later, I went to Jerusalem with Barnabas, brother Barnabas. I also took along Titus with me, <laughs> but I went there because God had told me to go. And I explained the good news that have been, I, I had been preaching to the Gentiles. Then I met privately with the ones who seemed to be the most important leaders. I wanted to make sure that my work in the past and my future work would not be for nothing. Are you following me? Then Titus went to Jerusalem with me. He was a Greek, but still he wasn't forced to be circumcised. We went there because of those who pretended to be followers and had sneaked in among us as spies. They had come to take away the freedom that Christ Jesus had given us. And they were trying to make us their slaves. Are you with me? Are you following so this is self self explanatory. That's why I'm not really. I'm I'm just trying to break them down so you understand. Verse five say, says, but we wanted you to have the true message. That's why we didn't give in to them, not even for a second. So they want us to have a true message. That is why they didn't give in to those people that that came to take away the freedom that Jesus had given us. And they just almost, they try, they were trying to make us their slaves. Are you following? So some of them, some of them were supposed to be important leaders, but I didn't care who they were. God doesn't have any favorites. 
try to understand that God loves everyone. If you see one auntie out there that is doing anti-Christianity, anti-Christianity, you are thinking God loves her more than you. It is not true, actually. The same love God has for you is what he has for me. And every one of us, there is no God likes this one, God likes this one more than me. And so I'm going to be crying. No. So it says, it went for that saying, okay, God doesn't have any favor. None of these so-called special leaders added anything to my message. They just carry title for head, but they are not acting from their heart. They realized that God had sent me with the good news for Gentiles. And that he had sent Peter with the same message for Jews. God who had sent Peter on a mission to the Jews was now using me to preach to the Gentiles. James, Peter, and John realized that God had given me the message about this undeserved kindness. And these men are supposed to be the backbone of the church. They even gave Barnabas and me a friendly handshake. This was to show that we would work with Gentiles and that they would work with Jews. They only asked us to remember the poor and that was something I had always been eager to do. When Peter came to Antioch, I told him face to face that it was wrong. He used to eat with gentle followers of the Lord until James sent some Jewish followers. Peter was afraid of the Jews and soon stopped eating with Gentiles. Are you with me? That was a, like, this is, this is an interesting story. He and the other Jews hid their true feelings so well that even Barnabas was fooled. But when I saw that they were not really obeying the truth that is, in, that is in this good news, I corrected Peter in front of everyone and said, Peter, you're a Jew, but you live like a Gentile. So how can you force Gentiles to live like Jews? I smell hypocrisy here, but it's good he realized. We are Jews by birth and are not sinners like Gentiles. But we know that God accepts only those who have faith in Jesus Christ. No one can please God by simply obeying the law. You cannot, you can't please God. So we put our faith in Christ Jesus and God accepted us by our faith in Christ Jesus. So when we Jews started looking for a way to please God, we discovered that we are sinners too. Like I said in my former video, you don't look for ways to please God. You do it according to your you just have you do it according to your heart. You have faith in Christ Jesus. Does this mean that Christ is the one who make us who makes us sinners? No, it doesn't. But if I tear down something and then build it again, I prove that I was wrong at first. It was, it was the law itself that killed me and freed me from its power so that I could live for God. I've been nailed to the cross with Christ. I've died, but Christ lives in me. Hmm. I've been laid to the cross, to cross with Christ. I've died, but Christ lives in me. The flesh, I've died. Christ lives in us. And I now live by faith in the Son of God who loved us and gave his life for us. So we, I don't turn my back on God's undeserved kindness. If we can be acceptable to God by obeying the law, it was useless for Christ to die. So I want us to understand that, yes, the law was important before. And then Jesus did not come to you know, wipe off the law. But it, it came to make it easier for us by just believing in him. And there are so many other things attached to believing in him. Trust me. So if you believe and accept him as your Lord and your personal savior, every other thing to be added onto you as long as your eyes are focused on him and him alone. That's Jesus Christ. So, if you think accepting God by obeying the law is true, that means there is no need for Christ Jesus to come. We must keep behaving the way we were behaving before. But he came to die for us. Maybe I'm going to make Galatians chapter 3, episode 2, so that it won't be too long for us to read and study. Okay, so, 
this I want you to study and meditate on. Look at the way I, I read it down. And you read your Bible, you understand. And anything you do that doesn't glorify God or you feel you're still doing the law and you're not doing the grace by accepting Christ Jesus, please kindly do now. Because chapter 3 and you will love it so much. And I'm going to go back. Don't forget our assignment, chapter 1 and chapter 4. Chapter 3 is what we'll be talking about in episode 2. Chapter 1 and chapter 4, that is... I'm going to be talking about it in episode 3. That is if it's not too long. Then if it's too long, I'll only do chapter 1. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll just say small about chapter 4. So that you will, ex you will know what you're expecting in chapter 4. Thank you very much for watching thank you for watching this video and you learned from it i hope those of us that find it hard we are too busy but we love god we really want to please him but but we find it hard to like study that word deeply this is the start at least one one verses one one chapter rather it will really really affect us so i want you to like subscribe and place a comment in the comment section below and tell us what the sweet holy spirit is telling you about this particular scripture we just read for you finish <laughs> i still remain your favorite host sarah smile and i love you so very much thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for you have a beautiful day